I did not know that she was at the place she was at when she ended it. That's why Nona Judd talking to CBS Sunday Morning about the moments leading up to and following her mother Naomi Judd's death by suicide on April 30th. It was an emotional interview and we've linked to the full thing in the corner and in the description section of this video. But the big takeaway is why Nona is feeling a lot of things five months later, especially anger. When pressed, Winona says she's, quote, incredibly angry and not sure that will ever go away. If you understand what she's feeling, share a kind word or an explanation in the comment section. During one of the more poignant moments, the Hall of Famer singer admits she still feels her mother's presence and wishes she was here so they could still argue. I'm Addison Haker, and thank you to all the new subscribers who've trusted us to share regular updates on the Judd News. The final tour begins on September 30th in Grand Rapids, which is, practically speaking, the reason why Winona is doing a few interviews. The parts of her interview with Lee Cohen that everyone is talking about today are that she's dealing with a lot of anger and what she said about the moments before and after Naomi's death. As you saw in the beginning of this video, Winona was as shocked as anyone when her mother died by suicide. I did not know that she was at the place she was at when she ended it. Naomi had episodes like this before where she'd go to a very dark place, but then get better. The younger Judd says she'll always wonder what she missed. Quote, was there anything I should have looked for or should have known? I didn't. The only new detail about Naomi's death that Winona shared was that she had the chance to say goodbye to her at the hospital. She was never clear if she died at home or was transported to a hospital, but Winona repeated what she said during her country music hall of fame speech. Quote, I went over and I saw her and I said goodbye to her in the hospital and I closed her eyes and I kissed her forehead and that was that. Sad moments like this were interrupted with moments of levity, like when Winona said that the only harmony they had between them was in the music. She also talked about how her mom would make her drive to the grocery store when she was 13 years old, which y'all, let me know if that's what growing up country meant to you with a comment or thumbs up. As for that anger, Winona's response that she was incredibly angry came in response to a question about if she's angry. She doesn't elaborate on why she's angry or even try to explain it. It's one of those things that anyone who's lived through a tragedy understands and those who haven't can only guess at. If you or anyone you know is considering suicide or in a crisis, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 988 or text HOME to 741741. This tour was to be their final tour and it was planned prior to Naomi Judd's death. It's just a handful of dates, but for Winona, it's everything. Quote, I feel like I have my marching orders. And she's not 100% sure she's looking forward to it, but the show must go on. I'm Addison Haker for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.